Howdy guys, how's it going? It's Drew here and I'm picking up right where I left off on the last episode. So, during that like, five second break between the two, the leaves have fallen off and you're not done harvesting the apples. We might need a farmer, extra farmer in there. Anyway, well, I was thinking in between episodes, I can't put a... Alright, so the house is 4x4. Four four. Okay, I was thinking, well, I can't put a schoolhouse in there because it hits the house, but what happens if I do this? But it's 4x4, four four, so the schoolhouse will still hit that house. So it doesn't matter. But it'll still be a failure. Soon enough, that'll get built. It's starting to become deforested in here. I'm surprised they're still getting as much as they are out here. I might put a foresters in here just to plant trees. Oh, come on. There we go. I'm gonna have some people collect stone on their own. The builders will take care of that. And once we stockpile enough stone, I am going to. Here! I am going to. <laughs> oh, sorry about that. I am going to get a trading post up and running right here. And maybe another. Fisherman's Dock as well. I'm running out of trees here, so I'll go ahead and start uh, cutting some down as well. We've got our herb limit met. And we only had to gather two herbs last season to meet. Um, even with what we've been having to do, so. I think our next big project is just put a trading post here. Then, I don't know what I'll do with all this area. I mean, could be useful for something. Could build something up here, like a town hall, or just something there. Because I do want to start building some more things. Like, the end goal for me is to have every possible building. At least one of every possible building. And thing. I mean, that's not too hard. I need a schoolhouse and I need a town hall. And that's really it. Besides a marketplace and a trading post. And I don't know if I'll even get a market. Like, I might just say screw the market, because markets aren't all that helpful for me. They just provide um, storage, like a storage barn. And it's just a place where they can go <clears throat> to get things. And it needs, I need vendors and crap like that, so I'm just going to say screw the market. I'd have to build a schoolhouse, a town hall, and a trading post, and I will call this done. Except I might, I might decide I'll build a tunnel. Maybe that's what I can do. Since there's a bunch of territory up here that's kind of uncharted, instead of building a walkway up there, I could build like a tunnel through here. That would take about a lot of stone. That would be a cute little tunnel. <laughs> Oh, that would be a cool tunnel. It just take 172 stone. But that would be a really cool tunnel. I might do that anyway, once we get enough stone stockpiled. We'll build a tunnel, clear through this mountain over to here, where the town hall will be. It'll be on the other side of the tunnel, and no other access to it besides through the tunnel. 
Oh, that would be fun. That would be genuinely fun. Now that that's built, we can take those off. Oh, you suddenly become from stonecutter and stonecutter to cleric and hunter. <sighs> they have a child. They'll have a child on the way, hopefully. Got 53 members of the church. I'm hoping we get more childs. Soon. Because we need more childs. They did seem to fix the glitch from last time that I played this, like, intensely. Where if a house ended up <clears throat> being abandoned and no one would move in there, they changed that so now people will move in there. And they made it so that people who move... What did you harvest? <laughs> anyway, people who move... They are prioritized. Instead of being 60 and 70 year olds that move into houses, they're now the younger ones, under 40, that move into new houses. Which I very much like. So, <clears throat> I guess I could start on a schoolhouse. I mean, I could get it done. But I didn't want one that badly. I really don't. People are dying of old age. 12 out of 120. I might end up going through all 120 graves, honestly. If this keeps up, holding the pretty steady population of around 50. What would it take? Alright, so could just put it right here, right in the crook of the creek. That would be cool. I'd be neato. <clears throat> I think this is a good spot. Eighty stone, eighty-two logs, and forty iron. And we're close to that eighty stone, so let's do it. Still don't know why I built the second bridge. But oh well. I guess it would help Oh, there's a lot of stone here. Maybe that's what I I will I I don't know why I built it still, but I will say that I built it so that I could access the stone. That will be my reasoning. Take more people out of the stone cutting business. Put one into mining. Just take more people out of the stone cutting business, because it's dangerous. Make them laborers. Put three into building. And I'll just start getting my stone by removing stone from elsewhere. 73%. 71%. Get a woodcutter up, hired. I'll take one builder off. Make you work as a blacksmith, whoever you are. Put things on times 10 so things go faster. Seeding everything. We'll see how well they do. 191 apples, I'm happy with that. 400, almost 400 walnuts. Once it drops below their usual, by 100, because usually this gets 990 or something like that, almost a thousand apples. Once it drops to the point where it doesn't get even 900 or 800, I might just uh, cut everything down for wood and start all over. 
And the same with this one, except for if it stops getting 300 at least. Then. Didn't you guys used to have a kid? Maybe not. You guys had a kid. You guys had a kid. What did you do, members of the church? Let's say we have a pretty stable population. Yeah, people are dying of old age. Because I know I had two laborers, and now I only have one. Because the one laborer filled in for whoever died. I only have three foresters, I just realized. Apparently someone died that was in forestry, and I never noticed. Are you coming over to put stuff in here? Yep. They're gonna prioritize putting the stone and crap in there before they prioritize getting the stone that I want them to. There is quite a bit of uncharted land up here that I can make use of, but, you know, I'm just gonna make my end goal having a town hall, <clears throat> a trading post which is being built now, and the schoolhouse. So this might be a pretty short series. Ten episodes, twenty max, if I decide to. But I mean, they have a pretty big file size anyway, so I can only upload one or two a night. Not very healthy, but you're very happy. Oh, a tree already died. Oh, well that sucks. Oh, more trees died. Oh. It might be time to <laughs> cut them all down anyway then. If that's the case. Walnuts are doing fine, but apple trees, you're not doing too awful hot. Pumpkins are having a good season this year. Yeah. I think it might be time to cut down the apple trees and replant them. I would say maybe switch, but... I mean, we need the apples for all the ale. Although, not much is being drank. A lot of it's just kind of sitting there. We're looking good on storage. Should upgrade these wood houses into stone houses. But no. You know something I've been debating and I might do it anyway. I got a new phone, a new iPhone SM. SE. Yeah. Right? iPhone SE, yep. And I do a lot of YouTube capture stuff for my vlogs and such. So, hold on. So, I'm debating trying to get YouTube Capture on here, and then just using it, kind of vlogging. It won't be live, but vlogging at the street dance. I mean, of course I'll be away from the band, because I don't want copyright and stuff in there. But, I might do just some vlogs with friends and stuff like that. Showing off the town of Fairfield before I leave to go to the university. Harvesting that already? It's just normal summer. These are gonna be ready to harvest too before fall. Usually they harvest them in fall. Our food limit's gonna be met very quickly. Oh, I noticed that started going down too. Yeah, I think it's about time to cut all the apple trees down. 
so come winter, I think you guys are going to get cut down. Then we're going to replant you completely. Because we already missed four. So that way it'll all be... Yeah, excuse me, it'll all be um, evened out. 500 cabbage. Close. I could open my tailor. Oh. Yeah, let's get my tailor up and running. That's something else that I should do. Instead of being you know, like, yeah, I have to have all these buildings, I should have to have at least full um, staff in each place. Like, I have to have all four foresters, except for mine, stone cutters, and traders, because that's outrageous. But all these ones, I have to have the teacher full, I have to have all these things running, I have to have the brewery running and the tailor and stuff like that, I have to have all those running. Populations dropping like flies. Yeah, full for now. Get a tailor. Make some goats. Make my coats, please. Yeah, it's quite a ways to carry all the stone, I know. It's gonna take a while for you guys to carry it over here, I'm sorry. And along with the iron. I wonder if a town hall will even fit up here, honestly. Yeah, it would literally just fit right perfectly in here. And then the uh, right next to where those deer are is where the tunnel would end, and then it would just be boom, town hall. <laughs> That'll work out really nicely. Alright, I think we're good on stone for now because we don't need to pump it out. So I'm just gonna bring a couple stone cutters out. Put him in there and just have laborers for now. And put in another forester. Told you you were gonna need to start cutting some more wood. Gonna need to start planting too. Well, no, you need to cut more down, is what you need to do. Doesn't look like you've cut hardly any down. Do need some more iron. Could use the iron. Get some iron. I never thought we'd start running out of tools either. Kinda surprises me, honestly. How are you people cold? Oh, because you're you're one of the people that tried to haul all the stone out to the trading post, huh? Yeah. Well, get somewhere warm. Heat up. Good boy. Good man. Good lady. You become a f brewer from being a forester. Good job. We do need more babies. Can you have more baby? Or can you have more baby? Oh, yes. Cut. Please. Cut that down for me. You're starting to fall apart too, so cut you down too. You produced pretty good, but I'm gonna start you guys over. We got plenty of stored food, so we'll be good. Tavern's just gonna have to shut down for a while. And with that, I am out of time. Thank you guys so much for watching this uh, episode of Banished. And the series in general, I hope you are enjoying it as much as I am. Um, if you are, go ahead and leave a like. If you aren't dislike it, just leave me a comment saying why, because comments, I believe, are the best for my feedback, not likes and dislikes. Because you can actually tell me what I did wrong. 
or what you think I did wrong. And then I can maybe change it. More than likely not, because I'll either forget or because I just don't want to. <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm just... I don't even know. Holy cow, we have reached our food limit. <laughs> We don't even have two storage sh set sheds for it. Anyway, um, yeah, I should probably end this off. Thank you guys so much for watching. And that's it for me. I'm out. I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Bye bye. Darren's the farmer. He's died of a weak heart. Bless his soul. It was not strong enough for his body.